So I wanted to review some Halloween designs because Halloween is coming and I did tell myself I wasn't gonna make any Halloween YouTube videos because they are not evergreen and I feel like they'll only be useful for about 15 minutes. But nonetheless, I am here on a ship at the moment and you can see this ridiculous background, it is insane. And I just thought, you know what, I wanna shoot a little video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go onto Redbubble, I'm going to search for Halloween and I'm going to just pick out some designs and review them for you. And I'm gonna, well, tell you what I think. So I've got Redbubble up on my screen right now. Let's just search for Halloween. That's how you spell it, Halloween. This isn't gonna be a very long video. I'm just going to review some of the first designs I see. But before I get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, um, hit the subscribe button. It's really weird looking at the camera because I'm using my phone right now and the big screen is throwing me off. But anyways, let's just get right into it. We've got the first design, a vintage pumpkin sticker. It's really good. That is a creepy mask. I do not like that one bit. It's cool to see. Oh, that's also a really creepy mask. Mm. It's really cool to see what designs actually make it to the top spots for 715,000 results, which means there are a lot of searches. This this kind of design is getting a lot of traction right now. The 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 these blurry one. I always forget what it's called. Um, that's a very cool design. There's a lot of these boo designs. Very very funny designs. Okay, so let's have a look. One thing we can see in common. Cause that's what I want to do. I want to firstly look at the most popular product that is going on over here. T-shirts, stickers, whatever they may be. And also I want to see a common theme between all of these T-shirts. And the most common theme we'll see probably is the placement. The placement of the t-shirt is up at the top, it's correct, it's not down at the belly button. So firstly, we've got what looks like the most common um, product is uh, face masks. And that makes a lot of sense because of Corona and all that kind of stuff. But then after that, I would say the next most common thing are probably stickers. You've got a sticker here, you've got two stickers here, you've got sticker, 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 you've got sticker there, you've got a, a book interestingly enough, another sticker. So yes, there are a lot of t-shirts as well, but I do think the most common products are face masks and stickers at the moment with t-shirts coming in third place. Okay, so let's have a look at, let's open some of these and have a look at them. So we've got some of these designs, I have no idea how they make it so high up because they are truly awful. But let's have a look at these top, what are it, six t-shirts. We've got Sanderson Sisters. I'm using my phone's internet right now, so it's quite slow. Right, we've got this design, wow. Okay, so if you have a look at this design, the insane intricacy of this design, it doesn't surprise me why they are at the top of the search results and they are probably making a serious amount of money. This is insane. The level of artwork and the level of detail in this design is absolutely ridiculous. You can see the placement is good as well. The colors are good. The price is good, £15.49. None of this 22, 23, 24 pound uh, t-shirts going on. This is a this is a well a priced t-shirt. The design is absolutely incredible. It's in the right place. The artwork is just amazing. And um, you can get this quick. You can get this by the 19th of October and today is the 12th. So that's really, really good. It's a solid design. Okay, and the one thing I really like is the price. The price is a normal price. It's not this ludicrous price. Okay, like this, 21 pound, five pence, ludicrous price. All right, this design is ghosts, what looks like cats and pumpkins. It's a very basic, it looks like it could have genuinely been taken from place it, but actually looking at it in a bit more detail, it looks like it could have actually been drawn. In which case, that is very cool because of the, sh the shading and all of that, it looks like it's actually potentially been drawn by the designer or the creator, which is another cool thing to see. The common theme here is both of these designs so far have actually been handmade by the creators. So they've taken a serious amount of work. They haven't just slapped something up in five minutes using a, a program and be like, okay, now I'm gonna make money. It is a lot more expensive, but clearly it's working for them. It's a very, very simple design. Right, okay. Spooking intensified. 16 pounds, two pence, right. So this has got a very cheap price. I think that's what it's got going for it because it's a very basic design. Um, I feel like it's gone over my head. I don't understand it very much. 
Um, it's in the right place. And it's, it's, look, it's a very, very simple design. It clearly has some form of message that I just don't understand. So yeah, I'm gonna move on. Gonna move on with this design. Okay, Halloween, the night he came home. Who came home? What? It's hard to tell what that is. Oh, that is creepy. That is creepy, but that is, again, some serious, serious artwork. This actually looks like a movie poster. It's a pumpkin with a knife, a very veiny hand, and it's a very good piece of art. Again, I don't think this is a, a piece of artwork that has been taken just from a program like Canva or Placeit. I think it's been designed by the person. And as well as that, you've got the price here, £14.96. So what are we seeing in common? Three of these four designs so far have decent pricing. And it, it means that they're not making much money. They're only probably making a couple of pounds, one or two pounds. But the fact is they care more about selling tons of t-shirts than having a huge price. Because think about it like this. What would you rather, sell 100 shirts a day with two pound profit or five shirts a day with, you know, 10 pound profit? It might be a smaller profit, but if you're selling a lot more, then you're going to make a lot more money. All right, let's move on to the next design. Again, another amazing, amazing piece of artwork going on here. Coven of the Trash, Coven of Trash Witches. This is a ridiculous, again, £15.49. What are you seeing here? You're seeing that all of these big, big, you know, sellers are selling it at a normal price. And again, they're not just selling it at a normal price, but they are, they are using incredible artwork. I mean, here, you've got one font, not 10 fonts. You've got, it's all centered perfectly. I mean, on the t-shirt, it's just centered. It's high enough up on the t-shirt. It's centered in the middle. The You've got the two rats and then the rat behind as well. You've got the circle. It's just centered perfectly. It's all come together really, really nicely. And I mean, you can tell the difference between something like this and some of the things I see in the Are Your Design Any Good episodes, right? You, this just looks like it's a lot more professional, right? And it looks like something people would wear on a t-shirt, right? And finally, £14.96. It doesn't even surprise me that these designs are this cheap because it's what I would do, all right? I, I would put my designs at this price as well. Again, Headless Horseman. Oh my God, this is, these designs are amazing. So much effort has been put into these designs. It's ridiculous. Look at this. It's the, the head, the head does horse, but holding the, holding the, uh, the pumpkin. These are really good designs. Really, I look, it doesn't, I do not, I, it doesn't surprise me why they are at the top. And a lot of people are asking, you know, how do I get to the top? Why am I not showing up in the search results on Redbubble? All these kind of things. And based on these six designs, or I'll say five designs, because Spook intensifies, it went over my head. Based on these five designs, what I'm seeing is the similarities are the designs are, they look handmade, they don't, they don't look like they're done by a computer, and they are incredibly made, incredible piece of artwork. Two, they're placed on the right place of the shirt, and they're all centered. The design is not using too many fonts. You can see here it's using, you know, it's using three fonts, what looks what looks to be like three fonts or four fonts, maybe max. But the way they've used the fonts, have actually, it's actually, they, they complemented each other, right? So there's not too many fonts. As well as that, the prices have been low. They stayed low, and that's a huge reason probably why they're getting sales. Um, so that, I mean, that's it. I mean, I'm gonna just quickly have a look at, let's have a look at a few stickers. Someone is making a terrible noise down there. Let's have a look at some stickers, right? And some, the face masks are, are creepy AF. I don't, they're just creepy, but the stickers, this is a metal, ah, this isn't a sticker. This is a metal, what's that? A 3D metal print. 33 pounds. I have no idea who would ever buy that, but well done to the person who got to the top of Redbubble for that. Right, as well as that, so you've got, um, you've got bats, you've got more ghosts, you've got cats. Very simple stickers. Very, very simple. Um, that's creepy, but again, very simple. Look, the point is, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing stickers are very simple. Um, they're very easy. They're not complicated designs, and I'm seeing that T-shirts, on the other hand, are highly complicated designs, but the artwork is just incredible. And then the face masks, I would just say, are very, very creepy, and I don't really want to look at them. But other than that, I mean, this is this is my take on the few Halloween designs that I've actually seen and just research here for you. Let me know your thoughts. If you have your own Halloween designs, let me know how sales are going. Don't spam the video with links, but let me know how sales are going. 
with your Halloween design, seeing as Halloween is right around the corner, um, have you been able to make any money? Let me know in the comments down below.